this door before I'm assuming that it's you know before I start assuming stuff again that this isn't true. Listen, last time didn't go well. Okay, it was hard, it was tough, but we made it. We didn't make it. We died a few times actually. Hi, my name is Terry. We're playing an extended edition. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've seen me before, welcome back. Going through the editing process of the last video, I noticed a few things that I missed. So I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. So we're going to do that. Last time we uh, explored the upstairs and died a lot. And which really brought back the progress. Oh, hello. Always a good start. In case you are new to the channel, in short, this story is about a man who wandered into the woods and came across this old sawmill home and wandered in and started to be followed around by this. Okay, she's gone now. But he's exploring what happened to a woman uh, who is basically telling a story of how she died. And then we have that thing following us as we're exploring that. I have a sanity meter. If that all runs all the way down, I die. Which just means I get kicked out of the house, which is extremely boring. And I've been struggling a lot because that's been really low all the time. And it drains relatively easily. Um, I think this is the wrong door. Yes, this is the wrong door. We need the other door. You, your sanity is drained when you witness paranormal events. And looking at her too long is a paranormal event. So that's why I'm not too keen on staring directly at her. God, she is act. This. This is what I mean. She's active today. Good lord. And uh, for those who, who think it's interesting, I think it's very interesting. There's a lot of symbolism in this game involving the old pagan religions. So I think that's interesting. Yeah, what I missed was this seed bag. Which, when I realized I missed that, let me just double check that I didn't miss anything else. Because we know me. I, mean, I like to miss stuff. Uh, there's a uh, there's a water pool downstairs that Loki suggests you have to throw a seed in it. And there's a woman, Stonehead lady I call her, who needs ashes. And I theorized last time that you have to... Find the seed, throw the seed, grow the seed, burn the seed. And then use the ashes on Madame. There's also, we found a black dress. And that needs to be propped up on the chair. But it was, something was missing. It couldn't stay propped up. So, but I think, I think I know what is missing. I think it's, uh, I hate this room. Cinders. Hey, maybe this is the ash that she needed. I, uh, I think we need that mask. But I don't know how to get it off. Excuse me. Oh. Uh... uh. That was just a guess. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think that would actually. That was just a guess. Uh, let's leave before we piss somebody off. First things first. Let's throw the seed in the water. To the water. Bag of seeds. Cinders. Seed bag. I have no real reason to think this, but I feel like we pissed something off. I just want to try the cinders on the step. stone head lady. Step on the step. There's a... Cinder's not really the same as ashes, but we'll just give it a try. She has a ring. Maybe these are not, still not. Okay. The tree went all the way upstairs, 
So let's check out what the tree grew upstairs. Actually, let's do this first. Pop up the head. Boink. Or maybe combine it with the dress. I guess not. All right, let's take a look at the tree. Deformed sapling. It looks like a head. Oh! I died. This game isn't normally this easy to lose. I, I just made it really hard on myself and I'm trying real hard to progress uh, to, to counter this problem. The form set in the trees and in the child shaped form. Now we need for it is to begin weeping. If you wanted to cry then you just gotta axe it. Right? Just gotta do it a hurt. Do it a pain. Give it whose bonnet was it, I wonder. I was gonna give it to the child. Uh needed to start weeping. The hair. This calls for another book. Oh, hello. I don't think you're supposed to touch her. Maybe that's the problem. Burn it? That's what we said earlier, right? Just burn it. Leaf. Oh, oh I'll take. I took leaves. I took away the leaves. Oh, so the ritual. Before that, the ritual downstairs with the candle actually, according to the book, requires two types of blood. Obviously, the candle is one type. I'm guessing if that thing starts crying, that's the second liquid that it needs. But how do you make a baby cry? Number one way to make a baby cry wake it up from its nap too early. Second way don't feed it, don't burp it. Drop it down the stairs, got it. I think my mission for today will be to get enough sanity that I don't have to worry about dying all the time. I think if we can accomplish that, then I'll be happy. Rub the cinder on the baby, burn baby, got it. Hello, baby. There you go, baby. No? Oh, now I can read the letter. Dearest, finally, the last part of the enigma which has tormented me for months is about to be solved and at last I will be able to see her again. I am writing to you because once more I must share with you my joy. Like we have always shared every torment and every victory in the past. Brother of mine, why aren't you here with me? What has driven us apart to this point? I still remember how you welcomed me when returning from the woods without a single log to take the wood which I had gone to find for building new Something. I told you I had found the love of my life dancing amidst the trees. You embraced me. You gave me a pat on the shoulder and tried to drag me, tried to drag me with you to the tavern. But you know, I have always been the shyest of us two, and I let you drink for me together with your friends. Whilst I, from that night, pondered on how I could see her again. Thanks to that extreme perception which brought me to close myself, I realized that she was she was not a flesh and blood woman, but a magical creature, and judging 
The few documents I had at the time and the Asian books I subsequently found, I managed to discover her true identity. He did not understand how someone in love could lose himself in moldy books and lock himself in his room for a greater part of a day. He wanted me to run to my beloved one to kidnap her. Thanks to my studies, I discovered a very different way of obtaining my lady. I needed not strength nor boldness, but faith. I discovered that my wonderful nymph was a goddess who had been adored in this valley for centuries. I discovered which cult was dedicated to her. I found the mass described in the books to complete the ritual. And finally, I also learned the certainty that her temple was hidden right in our home beneath our feet. Oh yes, brother of mine, my love for her is desired by destiny. How could you have managed to separate us, yet you still tried? Because you were brave, because you deemed yourself wrong. The books I read frightened you, the rituals I performed repelled you, and at last I revealed to you the identity of my beloved. You told me I was mad, I did not care. I suffered because I had lost your esteem, but for her I sacrificed my pain, and when I discovered that you had stolen my books and I confronted you, you screamed that you had burned them to save my soul at least. Since my mind was already lost, but in that moment my soul screamed in pain and wrath because you had torn her from me, perhaps forever, and so it was as if my baby acted on its but my body acted on its own. I did not fear your strength and I did not hurt you. It was love that led my hands. If from up there you are watching me and reading my letter you will understand that even while I was hitting you, I still loved you. You will understand that I could not do otherwise. After days of desperation, I discovered where you kept my books hidden and I locked them safely in my bedroom. I should have imagined that you would not dare to have burned them. Now I must need only find the entrance to the temple, but my fate is so strong and so gentle in this pain that I already feel victorious. Rejoice with me, my brother. Rejoice with me because my fate and yours have been accomplished and my world is near. Did I get some, did I get some progress? I stored something in the notebook. I just found a letter laid out on the table. It seems as though I'm not the first who has in, who has intent on finding you, Anna. I must find the book mentioned in the letter and figure out what temple it's referring to. A temple here? Observe. Actually, I think I know where this supposed temple is. Rumble, rumble, it means the lady moved. Quick, run! I think... This is the entrance. Uh, I'm sure I've missed something. I always miss something. I was looking at the floor. Looking at the floor. The floor is very scary. Sudden movements during events or near the mannequin drain sanity. Okay, no sudden moves. Got it. Book. New book. That might might be able to tell us what to do with the baby. Hey, that's a familiar symbol. Used to kill the gods. Spoke very most of the prisoner. As much as she is capable of boundless love, 
Her wrath and perversion can be boundless as well. It is more likely for mankind to evoke her heir as 300 years hence she was burned as a witch after curing a sick man using but simple healing, healing herbs. An image must be prepared of the goddess to act as the bridge between herself and the inferior world. Goddess imposed of the benevolent teaching. She must be clad in an enveloping garb. Like a ceremonial rope, got that. Does that mean we have to put on the dress? No, okay. Beseech her for her divine help. The lips of the image must be wetted with the holy blood of the sacred tree of life. I'm guessing that's the tree we just grew, or at least the the tree of life is an actual thing in religion as well, but we just grew a tree. But that's that sound that we kept hearing. There's Madame sitting. There's this mirror still, it can't even display a reflection. Do we have to clean it or something? You want some hair? I keep think, keep forgetting it can't actually grab it. I'm thinking the hands that you see sticking out the walls downstairs, last time they required leaves, like the bronze leaf, the, the golden leaf, and three more leaves. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to do something. Okay, my, my thought is that maybe those leaves belong on those hands again, but maybe not. Can't put it on, can it? It won't stay propped up, something should keep it up that is missing. Let's try the leaves in the hands. I don't think this is it, but it's the only clue that I have right now. A tremble at the touch? So these hands don't want the leaves. That's okay. I'm only quiet because I'm puzzling. But her position also gives clues, but there's nothing in that closet anymore. Can we just axe it? That should make it cry. Oh, maybe uh, this? We used it before in a different part of the game, but may maybe it will do the trick. Yeah, okay. Now it's bleeding. I'm gonna take the jug. No? I don't know. Oh! I'm getting lucky with the random guesses. Well, this makes sense actually. 
even when the blood is pouring, the container stays empty. As if it's passing through. Or as if the blood wasn't there. Makes sense with the mask off. Maybe I should use a different container. Fair enough, but then we're taking off the mask because this is really scary. A different container. I have a mortar. Wait, that's what it's called, right? I'll put the mask back on. Uh, that's not it then. Okay. I'm gonna guess the container is somewhere here. Do you guys have a container? Basin. Basin. Whatever. Yeah, you laugh and rumble. Oh, I hate wearing the mask. At least this mask is so scary. What do you mean? What do you mean that's not it? I'm just gonna try the flask. Good excuse again. Anybody got any containers? Plate, plate, plate. A chalice makes sense. Jar, spoon. I'm gonna just try the baby bonnet. It makes no sense, but I'll try it anyway. I searched the rooms pretty thoroughly. I can't imagine what else it would be. I'm not looking! It's not it, apparently. Okay. I have a feeling that maybe I should be looking for the container. Uh, while wearing the red mask, but I don't want to wear the red mask because it's really scary. This is the plate made so much sense though. Yeah. Oh, it just made so much sense. I'll try the basin one more time. Maybe I misclicked or something. You should have left. Oh, just come get me already, please. Please. If you have any suggestions on what do you, you think it should be, the basin makes sense, right? Or basin, basin, I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it makes sense, right? Right? Tell me that my logic isn't flawed. Tell me that it makes sense. That it should have been the basin. It, it must be. 
Why isn't it? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. It's just not it. It's just not it. This is awful. I'm guessing the basin goes here. No? It just makes so much sense. Doesn't it? Doesn't it, madame? What if happen what happens if I put on the mask of truth? Oh. And then look at the No. Oh the basin goes here, doesn't it? Like it had two rings on it, so what it could hang here. Hey, you figured something out. Want some hair? Leaf. And four leaves. Well, it's something. I'm stumped. I, I, I am stumped. We'll look for the right container next time, but we made a lot of progress and I was really, really scared a lot. But at least the story is interesting, or at least I think it's interesting. I hope you think it's interesting too. If you have any ideas without looking up a guide about what kind of container I'm supposed to use then, let me know. Just overall, just let me know what you think of the game. And thank you for coming to watch another part of this playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little slow because I'm having a really hard time because I actually die a hundred times. Um, but I hope you're enjoying it anyway. And if you want to keep up with my playthroughs, then feel free to please subscribe to the channel. And I also really appreciate if you would give it a like to the video that is. It helps me spread a little bit. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!